Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Stay with us and please subscribe my channel to get update news of The Witcher show. The Witcher on Netflix is sometimes lambasted for its disregard for the original material, but 11 events from season 3 actually take place exactly as they do in the novels. The Witcher has received so much criticism for how it interpreted Andrzej Sapkowski's Witcher novels that the real instances of fidelity to the original material are often overlooked. The program has undoubtedly increased its fidelity to the book series, but because there is still a gap between the show and the novels, this is not given much credit. Based on the real-world events that drive the narrative, the Witcher Season 3 is the most faithful to the source material. Though many things are changed and shuffled around, The Witcher Season 3 manages to follow the gist of Sapkowski's story, something the previous season showed little interest in. With that in mind, it's worth going back and giving the show some credit for these 10 major moments that happen very closely to the way they happen in the novels. In one of The Witcher Season 3's best moments, Siri calls out a man in Gore's Velen for displaying a wyvern and telling a crowd that it's a basilisk. Siri ridicules the man in front of everyone, causing a bit of a stir. The real stir, however, comes when the wyvern escapes and Siri has to fight the creature. Luckily, Siri was raised by witchers, so she makes short work of the basilisk and then gives the credit to a boyish knight to avoid drawing attention to herself. All the above-mentioned things happen in both the books and the show, marking a true moment of loyalty in The Witcher. Geralt's fight with Vilgefortz is another moment from the show that happens almost identically to the way it unfolds in the books. In both continuities, Geralt is severely overmatched and ends up on the brink of death by the end of the encounter. Notably, Vilgefortz uses a staff in the show that matches up perfectly with his weapon of choice in the books. Vilgefortz also uses one of the book series' most iconic quotes at this moment, marking another important piece of loyalty to the books. Much of Vilgefortz's story has not matched up with the books, so this is an important course correction. The coup on Thand in The Witcher Season 3 also comes straight from Sapkowski's novels. The exact construction of this scene is changed to fit better in the medium of television, but the overall coup happens much the same as it does in the novels. The invasion by the Scoia'tael and Jigstra slash Philippa's plan to imprison the mages working with Nilfgaard are the core elements of the coup in both continuities. The show also makes Tissaia unwittingly complicit in Nilfgaard's scheme, which is a critical part of this sequence in the books. Siri being pursued by the Witcher's wild hunt after fleeing Gore's Velen is another moment that happens almost exactly the same in the books. Siri flees Gore's Velen in this scene because she is not impressed by Yennefer's mage friends and decides she no longer wants to attend the school at Eratusa. She decides instead to run to Geralt, but doesn't expect to be pursued by the spectral wild hunt. Luckily for Siri, Geralt finds her before anything can happen, both in the books and the show. In both The Witcher Season 3 and The Time of Contempt, the novel this season is based on, Imperator Emir Var Emrys presents a fake Ciri to his court in Nilfgaard. In the books, Emir is fully aware that she isn't his daughter, but wants the other nations to think he has the real Ciri, so they will stop pursuing her. It's unclear at this point if the show is going the same route, but either way, Emhire's presentation of a fake Ciri to his court is another moment straight from the books. In The Witcher Season 3's most tragic moment, the mage Tissaia takes her own life following the coup on Thand. It's hard to say for certain why Tissaia made that choice in The Witcher, but it's certainly related to her guilt over allowing the coup to occur and her heartbreak after finding out that Vildefortz has been deceiving her. Regardless, this is another moment that comes straight from the books. It is one of the series' saddest moments, but it represents another instance of the Witcher's growing loyalty to its source material. Ciri ends up stranded in the Korath Desert in The Witcher Season 3, after traveling through the warped portal at the Tower of Gulls. This is exactly how it happens in the books, 
even if the events that follow don't quite live up to the novels. Siri jumps into the portal, both in the show and the books, because she is fleeing Vildeforts and, after entering the Tower of Goals, she has nowhere else to escape to. After Siri travels through the portal, the tower explodes violently, severely scaring Vildeforts's face. This also happens in the books in much the same way. After being found on the edge of the desert by Nilfgaardian brigands, Siri is later rescued by a gang of miscreants known as the Rats. This is another moment straight from the books, and it is significant because of the way traveling with this gang affects Siri. This scene also happens much the same as it does in the books, with one of the Rats, Kaylee, also being held captive by the Nilfgaardians. When the rest of his gang shows up to free him, they are impressed by Ciri's skill with a blade and decide to take her in. This is almost an exact recreation of the book scene. In both The Witcher Season 3 and The Witcher books, Geralt is teleported to Brokolon to recover from the injuries he suffered in his duel with Vildeforts. Geralt begins his search for Ciri in Brokolon and begins the little gang that will eventually be called his Hansa. This includes Milva, whom Geralt meets in Brokolon both in the show and the books. Both timelines feature Jaskier's visit to see how Geralt is doing, even though in the books, his name is Dandelion. Another event that occurs in both timelines is Geralt and Ciri's trip to the Sherawed ruins, albeit the details of their trip are very different. However, in a manner similar to what is described in the books, Geralt tells Ciri the tale of the elves' sad struggle to defend their homeland from humans. This story is significant because it sheds light on why the elven race has suffered such drastic decline, despite having existed on the continent for a very long time before humans did. The importance of the elven struggle in the series made this a crucial scenario from the books for The Witcher to include.